Hi, this is Bill Hintz from E&M. Um, what I'd like to talk about today is a couple of um, packages that can work well together. Um, they're called computer CAX files we're going to create. Um, they're computer-aided engineering tools. Um, first one is we're looking at is our standard TIA. I've got a project open. I'm going to actually uh, bring in a hardware configuration from a different package. And the other package is called the TIA Selection Tool. TIA Selection Tool is nice. It's a free download. Um, you can use it to create um, hardware configurations and so forth. And it's very nice for creating bill of materials, exporting to Excel, that kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new device inside of um, the T TIA Selection Tool. We'll put in a 1500 controller, let's say. And to configure that, I just go ahead and pick a processor, something in the middle. The nice thing about this tool is it automatically selects all the mandatory components that you might need. So it's telling us we've got to have a memory card in this PLC, so it's already picked one for us. And I'll just put in a couple of I.O. cards. Digital input digital output and what that does is now it's created for me an order list I've got a bill of materials that I can export as a uh, Excel file or whatever I like um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually export that to the TIA portal and the idea here is that we can actually do a configuration of one package and then use it again in another package without having to worry about um, doing the you know duplicating efforts I'm going to put it in a file up on my cloud server and now what we can do is actually go back into our TIA and using an import function I can actually bring that in to my project so there's our PLC we configured in the other um, package the nice thing about the other packages for example these IO cards may need front connectors and, and, and other um, you, you know utilities like the memory card that it already picked for us and since now we've got all those parts in our other package we don't have to worry about it we can do exports of part numbers from TIA however um, it doesn't have the configuration for all the accessories and so forth including the DIN rail and so forth so let's say that um, we go we want to go the other way and uh, let's say we've got a different processor from another project Let's pick one a little bit higher up the chain. And what we've got is a, we've got a TIA package that we've configured in the past or we received from uh, another vendor. And we can actually use that now to export. And now when I bring up my TIA selection tool, I can bring in that file. And it says we've already got one from that project, so I'm going to go ahead and just say Overwrite Devices. It's going to say, okay, we're going to need this memory card, and we're going to need a front connector, and the result comes up. And now I've got my 1518 processor, and I've got bill of materials that I can export to Excel.
pull that Excel screen up. And there you see we have a nice little bill of materials that we can actually send to E&M to get a quote. So um, this is kind of a neat little trick. It actually allows us to uh, configure in one package that uh, has some preferences over the other one and import them either direction. Once again, this is Bill Hintz from e &M. If you uh, have any questions, give us a call at 866-693-2636. Thanks.